Hi everybody, it's Dr. Alfonso coming to you from the Banks and Center for Aesthetics and Plastic Surgery. Wanted to take this opportunity today to continue our online educational seminar series to talk about a topic that's interestingly grown in very, um, very much over the past few years in popularity. And it deals with female uh, genital rejuvenation. Before the uh, past few years, it was something that really wasn't discussed a whole lot among uh, physicians and their patients. But the techniques have been around for quite a few years, and they've been refined to really give quite a, a good result for patients. So we see a lot of women who will come in and ask us about what is available to help rejuvenate their female genital area, which can be changed by a number of reasons. Genetically, some patients who are even very young can be... Uh, have anatomy which is a little bit excess in terms of what we call the labia and have some self-consciousness about that but also have issues with comfort comfort during exercise and activities uh, because of that in addition a lot of women who have had multiple pregnancies and deliveries over the years have also found that that process has changed their anatomy and made them a little bit more self-conscious about how things look but also in terms of their uh, sensation during exercise and other activities, including sexual activities. So the state of the art for vaginal rejuvenation involves a procedure called a labiaplasty. And basically what that does is it reduces the overall volume or excess tissue of the labia minora. This is uh, done in the operating room. Patients are generally asleep and the uh, patients really wake up with uh, minimal discomfort. Uh, we tend to put a lot of numbing medication in, especially to do a particular block that helps control the pain and discomfort afterwards. The uh, procedure itself takes about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes, and patients are generally in the recovery room for about another 45 minutes to hour and then home. Normal activities are allowed right after the procedure, so we encourage patients to get up, walk around, um, get back to kind of normal activities. Uh, nothing very vigorous in terms of physical activity or exercise uh, for a few weeks out. Typically, we see patients back at about two weeks after the procedure. So the typical patient who comes in and, and discusses uh, her concerns with us is somebody who has noticed that over time, the area uh, of concern, the labia minora, has become bigger, has become uh, difficult in terms of keeping it comfortable during activities, and would like to discuss the, uh, the surgical procedure with us. The... Um, other area that we often address is also uh, near the labia minora. It's called the labia majora, and this is further out. And in many women, uh, and anatomically, this area can become a little bit stretched and also heavy as well. So oftentimes, in the same surgical procedure, we can address both the inner part, the labia minora, as well as the part near that, the labia majora, for uh, a rejuvenation of both areas. One of the other great things about vaginal rejuvenation is we have a special for patients who book a, a labiaplasty surgery. They get one treatment of our technology for internal rejuvenation called Thermiva uh, included as part of the procedure. This uh, technique utilizes radio frequency and it helps to rejuvenate the internal part of the vagina, which over time can lose a lot of its thickness to the inner layer. The radio frequency is a very gentle procedure. It's done uh, with patients awake with uh, no significant numbing or anesthesia. It takes about 30 minutes or so, and there's literally no downtime afterwards. So we allow patients to get back out, normal activities, even light exercise that day or within uh, 24 hours if they wanted to just uh, take it easy that day. The benefit of this procedure is that it combines the rejuvenation of the external part of the female anatomy with the internal part. It, rejuvenating the internal component will allow women to have a uh, better sensation in the area and better thickness of the tissue, which allows them to have a more gratifying sexual experience and also has been shown to help in some women who have issues with some very mild bladder incontinence, especially with laughing or sneezing. So this is the benefit of the procedure that uh, we are able to offer here at the Bankston Center is that we combine the external rejuvenation with the internal. Typically, we recommend three treatments of the Thermiva, and the first treatment is, again, included as part of a um, package with the initial surgical procedure. The other two procedures are done typically a matter of weeks apart. Patients have been very happy with the results of these procedures. Most patients are pleasantly surprised. The recovery is a little sore for a while, but they're able to get back to activities uh, within a few weeks in terms of physical activity, such as light exercise. 
I hope this was helpful for patients. If you do have questions, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating of a topic, and sometimes patients might want to be more uh, comfortable just uh, sending emails, and we're great with that. So I would encourage patients, if you have any questions out there, uh, to uh, learn more about these procedures and these topics, to email us at askthesurgeon at bcaps.com. We also are available for virtual consultations where we talk through the procedure. Uh, we're not having patients send photos uh, as part of the virtual consultation just because of the nature of the procedure, but it's certainly uh, willing to talk about it and go over uh, the surgery in more detail. I hope this was helpful for you, and we look forward to connecting again in the future on some new exciting topics. Take care and stay healthy.